Hey guys, in this video we will cover some basic features and uses for Dwarf Fortress Therapist for version 0.5. Do take care that this is just the test version, so some issues are expected. Use it at your own risk. Let's start by explaining what Dwarf Therapist is. First off, it's an easy way to manage labors. By having a big overview of every dwarf and their skills, we can easily see who are the most talented dwarves in our fortress. Apart from that, we get a lot of different predefined views we can use to filter on certain aspects like labor or needs. This can be useful for those fortress managers looking for a bit more min-maxing. To get started, launch Dwarf Fortress and Therapist and wait till you have loaded up your fort. Then go to Dwarf Therapist to read in the data. This can be done in the top left corner. If everything worked, you should see a list of your dwarves. If you would like to specialize certain dwarves in a quarf, this would be very useful on its own, but we can also assign labors directly to them through the Dwarf Therapist. Let's for example say we would want to focus on one of our weaponsmiths to only smith and do nothing else. We can first sort the list based on weaponsmith skills, so that we can see that our best dwarf has a level of 2. We could then deselect the other labors, so he specializes in just smithing. To actually push this to the game, we need to commit the changes. This can be done by pressing the commit button under the menu to the right. In the menu, we can also see all the changes we've made before we commit them. You can also paint the labors with the mouse by holding down the left mouse button, if that would be something you prefer. We can enable a labor for everyone by right-clicking the labors header and selecting Enable this for everyone. Another useful way we can use Therapist is to check up on our dwarves. If we notice in game we have a lot of sad dwarves, we can go into the Needs screen in the Therapist to give us a good overview of what they are missing. Here we get a list of how many times a dwarf has needed something but failed to accomplish it or get it. Since it didn't set up a temple yet, a lot of dwarves didn't get a chance to pray, so that would be something I could focus on to keep them happy. The next step would be the Animals tab. Here we get a bit clearer overview than we get in game, so I prefer to use this screen. We can butcher and geld animals and see if they are in cages, which is also very useful. Apart from that, we can get some extra statistics on the animals, which some people would might want to have. We could check for the size of the animal to optimize the amount of resources we get from butchering it, since this can be dependent on the size of the animal. We do like to keep our dwarves healthy, and this is where we can use the health tab for. We used to have this in game as well, but since the premium release, this has become a bit harder to track. From this screen, we can get a nice overview of everything that is wrong with our dwarves, be it fever or being gutted. We can all track it from this tab. This can also be useful to check if anyone was bitten during a rare beast attack, instead of going over each dwarf manually in-game one by one. The last step I want to cover is the military. We get a quick overview of the dwarves with any weapon skills, making it easy for us to assign them to a squad. The nice part is, is that we can add them directly to a squad from the same screen. By selecting our dwarves by control clicking and then right clicking on one of them, we get the option to assign them to the available squads in the game. Above our tabs we have some quick filters which are nice to have. Some I use a lot are Migrant Wave to check up on my new dwarves, Job Types to see if everyone is doing anything, and Happiness to see who is going to be starting a Tantrum Spiral. Apart from all this skill tracking we can also create our own labors. This can be done in-game to a limited amount, but for me personally I find this lacking to the way we can do it in Dwarf Therapist, but you can use whatever method you prefer. We can assign specific jobs to a custom profession so that we can easily reuse the same layouts of labors for someone else. This can be a real time saver when a new migrant wave comes in full of potential job seekers. To do this we can select custom professions in the right side of the screen under the customization screen. If you can't see the screen, go to windows in the top left, dockings and select customizations. Once here we can select the name. Choose to use it as a mask, which will allow you to add the profession to a dwarf instead of clearing everything from it and then selecting the jobs of the custom profession. Choose a role, which is similar to the one you are creating. The game uses the averages of these to determine who should be good at your profession. Let's for example create a profession that is a miner and a doctor. I would want to select a doctor here, since those skills are more important to compare for when looking for a good mining doctor. The other choices are vanity, but are useful to keep track of our profession. We can add an icon and change the color of the text and background for the dwarf name. Next we need to choose from the list of labors available. This list is bigger than what you see in game, so take your time to go over them. I personally find that I have more control this way than with the in-game menu. To assign a skill to a dwarf, you can simply right click them and select customize. Under this tab should be your newly created profession. 
I also wanted to cover some options you would maybe want to change since it can be a bit hard to read when first looking at it. Go to the top left, File, Options. Here there are a couple of things we need to check. First off we can change the general font of the UI and change the color theme. I prefer Fusion Dark and a bit bigger font than the default, but you can pick whatever feels the most comfortable for you. Apart from that, in the first screen we can also enable some sort of cheats. Depending on the fort I'm playing, I may turn these on or off, but for beginners it is very useful to have a way to check for curses to find out if you have any rare beasts or vampires in your fort. Under the grids tab, I changed the size of my font a bit to make everything a bit better to read for the video and for myself. The last thing I changed is under the tooltip tab. Here I'm able to show kills, since I think it's just a nice story flavoring for the dwarves. Dwarf Therapist also has an option to optimize your labors, but this is something a bit more advanced and I really wanted to keep this video simple and short. Since the new release, I don't really think job management needs to be done from Dwarf Therapist anymore anyway, but it can still be used as a cleaner overview of all your dwarves and their stats. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more Dwarf Fortress content.